Today we're going to look at Kingston's fastest flash drive yet, the Data Traveler Max. Hello and welcome to First Look, I'm Young John. Now today we're going to look at the fastest thumb drive that Kingston has ever made, the DT Max. Now this comes in huge capacities of 256 gigabytes, 512 gigabytes, and one terabyte in size. Now this is also the fastest drive they've ever made too. This reads as fast as 1000 megabytes per second and writes as fast as 900 megabytes per second, which is amazing. Uh, for the technology people out there, this is USB 3.2 Gen 2. Now before we unbox this guy, I'd like to thank Kingston for sending us over this evaluation unit. And without further ado, let's open up the box and see what you get. So this is the front of the box. The whole box is made out of paper. You'll see the name of the manufacturer on the bottom here, the name of the product, a nice colorful illustration of the thumb drive, and the capacity size on top here. So the back looks like this, kind of plain. You see a compatibility chart right in the middle here. To open this, you have the security tape seal on top. Take your knife. So in the paper box, your thumb drive is protected in a plastic casing, which is quite easy to remove. You just lift the lid, I think. Oh yeah, and you have your drive. And that's pretty much everything you get in the box. You have your container, your uh, protective container, and you have your thumb drive there. I want to note that Kingston's done an excellent job with the packaging. Now this piece of gear, thankfully, came encased in a protective plastic sleeve. In my case, the shippers weren't paying attention and dropped my box into a large pool of water, like a lake or a pool or something, because it came wet. And when I pulled out the box, this was wet too. But thankfully, Kingston's thought ahead and protected it inside this plastic sleeve. So, you know, excellent work, Kingston. I think uh, you saved me from getting screwed. No thanks to FedEx. So let's do a product walkthrough. This is a really small thumb drive and uh, it's roughly the size of my finger here. And I'll show you a little trick. I can make it disappear. Ta-da! <laughs> it's really, really small. You see a little printing here of the file capacity. This one is one terabyte, so you can tell right away if you have a drawer full of flash drives. The case itself is really light. It's made out of plastic totally, in the front and in the back, so it weighs like next to nothing. And on one end, you have this little notch here. Now this notch is used for, you know, like a keychain. You can hold it along with your keys, and uh, you operate this by pulling the end down and you have a USB-C connector on this end here. So they made it really usable when you open and close this thing by adding notches all along the front side so you can get a really good grip when you hold it and kind of pull this up and down. On the other side, this is what it looks like. This is sort of hidden so when you need it, you pull it out and protect it when you're not using it. As far as compatibility goes, this guy should work with all modern operating systems, including Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 8.1, Mac OS 10.14 and newer, Linux 2.6 and newer, and Chrome OS. The only thing more impressive than the huge capacity of this drive is the phenomenal read and write speeds. I mean, it's 1000 megabytes per second read and 900 megabytes per second write. Now think about that. For most people who have regular computers, myself included, uh, you can't utilize the full speed of this thing. It's like driving a Ferrari on a 50 mile per hour highway. You are limited by the speed of your highway and my highway, my computer is much slower than this guy. Now I'll be honest, the people who use this kind of drive will be the ones who need the speed. Uh, mostly videographers and photographers when they hand off their raw materials to their editor or you know to their clients. But don't let that stop you from getting this because as a pedestrian, I can see myself upgrading my computer in a year, two years, four years down the line, and then I can still make full use of this drive at that time. To find out how fast the drive can actually go, I like to check the storagereview.com. Now this site tests enterprise level storage. So I trust them to use the latest technologies when checking out consumer gear too. According to their IO meter test results, the read and write number exceeded Kingston's claims. Fastest read speed, 
1006.5 megabytes and fastest read speed 969.4 megabytes per second. Now what this means is you have a Kingston supercar that can go a thousand miles an hour. But this only happens when you have a super smooth and perfect road called USB 3.2 Gen 2 or something better than that like Thunderbolt 3 or 4. Now, while most gamers or video editors will most likely have this, the rest of us, eh, probably not. Here's an example of an affordable Asus E410 laptop. It's got USB 3.2 Gen 1, and testing on Crystal Disk Mark nets us 447 megabytes per second read and 435 megabytes write. Now, that was expected since Gen 1 is about half the speed of Gen 2, but the plot twist happened when I tried to copy files for real. So check this out. Copying four large video files to the Kingston drive transferred at an average of 165 megabytes per second. Like, huh? <laughs> what is going on here? What happened to the 450 megabyte speeds I was supposed to get? Well, after a lot of poking around in research, I found that the ASUS uses eMMC storage which is really slow compared to SSDs. That's where the slowdown is happening. Of course, nobody told us this would happen. So even if we were driving through town with signs that said speed limit 447 miles per hour, the actual speed ends up being 165 because the town is full of senior citizens trying to cross the road. It's no wonder things are slow. But here's what I'm getting at. The Kingston is bloody fast, but none of that'll matter if your computer is slowing things down. As you saw with the budget ASUS, the problem wasn't even the USB port. It was something else entirely. Despite all that, the good news is that the DT Max will always work at the fastest speeds it can. And it'll always be ready to go faster when you provide the means to do so. Like when you upgrade your computer. Here's the down low. It's small in size, it's really fast in speed, and it can carry up to one terabyte in capacity. So this is giving you huge returns in a really small size. Keep in mind that like most other Kingston products, this one comes with a five-year warranty. So if you're looking for a reliable drive by a reliable company that's been in the business for a very long time, the DT Max is the one to consider. Now in a previous video, Kingston's fastest USB-C drive was the DT80. Now compared to that one, this guy is five times faster in write speed and 15 times faster in read speed. So for a little bit more money, you can future-proof yourself for many more years to come. Thank you very much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you wanna check out prices, we'll leave Amazon affiliate links down below in the notes. And if you haven't yet, please take a moment now to subscribe to the First Look YouTube channel. We'll see you all again next time.